This is a very quick lesson on dividing by powers of 10. Um, now one thing I want to really uh, make clear here is that if you are ever dividing by a power of 10, which is 1 followed by a number of zeros, I really hope I don't really see any work on your paper. <laughs> so uh, when you divide by a power of 10, it's not even necessary to set up long division or anything like that. Okay. And the reason for that is, remember when we learned how to multiply by powers of 10, we understood that multiplying by a power of 10 just moves the decimal point to the right the same number of place values as the power of 10 has zeros. Well, we understand hopefully by now that multiplication and division are opposite operations. They kind of undo each other. So if multiplying by a power of 10 moves the decimal right, Dividing by the power of 10 will move the decimal left. Okay, and so that's what we're going to use here. So to divide a number by a power of 10, simply move the decimal point to the left, the same number of place values as zeros in the power of 10. So all I have to do here is take my 67.4 and count up the number of zeros in 10,000. Right, there are 1, 2, 3, four zeros, okay, and I jumped two blank spaces, so I'm going to have to put a zero in each of those blank spaces, and the decimal point lands there, and then remember it's always good to put a zero in front of that decimal point. So my answer here is 0 0.00674. All right, five divided by 10 to the third. Remember, 10 to the third is just one followed by three zeros, okay, so whatever that power is, um, that's the number of zeros you have in your power of 10. So you take your 5, okay, and understand when it's a whole number, the decimal point is just hiding right after the 5. And you're going to send it back three places, so 1, 2, 3. So there were two empty spots there, decimal point, and then a 0 in front of that decimal point. So our answer there is 0 0.00. .00 5. Now a little word of caution here. This is only when you're dividing by a power of 10. Okay, So don't fall into the trap of thinking uh, that, for example, you know, if you have 100 divided by 0 0.4, that you could do anything similar, because you're taking 100, the power of 10, divided by another number. So in this case, you just have to do long division, right? You would say 100 divided by 0 0.4. You would move the decimal point over 1 in each number. And so you would actually be dividing 1,000 by 4. 4 would go into 10 twice. 4 goes into 20 five times. And then 4 goes into 0, 0 times. So the answer would be 250. Okay, so just make sure that when you are applying this shortcut, you are dividing by the power of 10, or in other words, it's the second number.